see this. They're trying to cover their tracks. Somebody is helping him. And it's RIZ security. Well-dressed muscle for the rich and powerful. And every single one of us is wanted by them. Wait a second, you guys are afraid of... Something always goes wrong at the last moment, doesn't it? Jeff, we're buying know. our shirts at the same store. We are. <laughs> steady, steady clothing, our big, our daddios. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Deans, good to talk to you again. Good to see you. And Kate, hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, thanks for talking about Leverage Redemption. Now, is this the continuation of the first season or do I call this the second season? Uh, season 1B, it's the yeah. second half of the first season. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, you know, uh, Kate, we have eight new episodes streaming on IMDb. What can we expect for the second half of Leverage Redemption? What can fans expect? Uh, a, a bunch of fun guest stars, a bunch of fun locations. We, we take everything that we did in the first half of the season and it just sort of gets amplified. Um, it's it's just a lot of a lot of fun, a lot of really, really bad criminals that we take down. <laughs> Yeah, if you like the first date, the back eight are, are just like them, but on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Dean, what were the challenges during COVID in producing Leverage Redemption? Oh, it was a breeze. You know, we just had a pandemic and eight, eight hurricanes. I mean, you know, no, no problem. <laughs> it was insane. It was absolutely crazy and insane. But we had the most incredible crew, the most incredible cast, and the most incredible partners at IMDb TV. You know, without all of them, there's no way we could have done this. And there's certainly no way we could have done it as safely as we did. Because uh, we needed everybody to come on board and to care about one another and to be concerned about one another and look after one another. And everybody stepped up in a big way. I will say that there was a couple of times early on when uh, right after everything shut down that uh, you know, my, my writer's room and I looked at each other, it's like, is this actually gonna happen? Are we gonna actually make this show? Is it gonna be possible? And we came to the conclusion, it was like, Dean, it's Dean Devlin. This show is getting made. There is <laughs> nobody else on earth that could actually pull this off except for Dean, and he did. <laughs> You yeah, move mountains. And, uh, you know, I've watched our first uh, first few episodes of the second half of season one. I love the bucket job because the holiday episode, I love Christmas episodes, sets the mood. And of course, we got Reading Rainbow, you know, Jory LaForge himself, LeVar Burton. You know, how did you get him for that role? Well, you know, our, Good luck. our show has <laughs> had a long history with uh, uh, next gen actors, you know, whether it was... Uh, uh, having Wesley Crusher on the show or uh, Brent Spiner, you know, uh, Jonathan Frakes has been a director for us a long time. So, you know, we, we've always kind of been talking to LeVar, but we never found the right thing. And when this role came out, we thought, oh my God, there's no one who could do this like LeVar. It was a Christmas yeah. miracle. Yeah, absolutely. And I love the Starship line you threw in there too. I thought that was funny. Yeah, you because know? <laughs> I'm a big Trek fan. I'm a huge Star Trek fan. And you know, Kate, what I love about this show, it's just so much fun. You know, it is so much fun. And I love how your action never looks cheap. Every, you know, the bar fights and everything. I mean, it looks like something you would see in a, in a hundred million dollar movie. You don't skimp on the action or the choreography. Because I, you know, sometimes it can look really cheap and like you roll your eyes, but your show really dedicates to the action, which I really like. Well, we had, we had a wonderful stunt coordinator and we have uh, Christian who is just such an absolute pro at, at especially at stunts and, and fight sequences that they really work together to, to make the, uh, the sequences work uh, as well as they did. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of Christian Kane, you know, how much was he responsible, Dean, for getting Leverage Redemption off the ground? Did he pester you every day and night? <laughs> He was in the Philippines shooting, you know, Almost Paradise when you got the green light for this, right? Yeah, I, you know, I, Christian Kane and his alter ego, Elliot Spencer, are mm -hmm. tied together. And, you know, I think it was the part that he always dreamed of having. And then when he had it, it's like, I'm never mm -hmm. letting go of this. And we, we talked about many different versions of leverage. In fact, there was one version that was only going to be Elliot. And, you know, and we actually worked on that one for a while and developed a pilot. Um, but I think when we finally got the version that we were able to, to launch, everybody was so thrilled and, and especially to get the gang back together again. And, you know, it's the Beatles reunion we never got to have. So it, it was just just really special to put everybody back together.
Are we close to a green light for another season of Almost Paradise? We've been waiting patiently. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think the key is we need everybody to come watch these back eight, show that it wasn't a flash in a pan, you know, support IMDb TV, who supported us when no one else did. Uh, you know, they've been a phenomenal partner. And uh, I think, uh, I think we may force their hand. <laughs> well, uh, Tony Toscano and I have our bags packed because we're ready to be extras on Almost Paradise. So we're just, we're waiting for the call, okay? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Meantime, Leverage Redemption, uh, part one of season one. Wonderful job. I got a few more episodes to watch. So congratulations on a great show. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you both. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Jeff. Good to see you. <laughs>